السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ربش رقی صدری و یسلی عمری بخل لسانی قولی My fellow dear students, today we are going to learn about Kafal Khitab, which is an attached pronoun. The topic that we are going to go over is when is Kafal Khitab harf? Mata takunu Kafal Khitab harfan. So Kafal Khitab is an attached pronoun. And we can see it here. Ka, kuma, kum, ki, kuma, kunna. The calves here are called Kafal Khitab in Arabic. Kafal Khitab is a second person pronoun. Keep that in mind. And today you are going to see when you are going to treat it as harf. So, the ma'ir we have learned in Arabic are under the umbrella of innocent. They can be rafana sabjad because they are, um, they fall under the category of innocent in Arabic language. But there are cases when kaf al which is an attached pronoun, can be treated as a harf and, and is treated as a harf, in fact. So, let's learn together what are those cases when you are going to call your kafal khitab harf. Number one case is on the right hand column when kafal khitab is found attached to an independent pronoun iya. And iya is our independent pronoun that is nasb in status. So whenever you find kafal khitab attached to iya, you can treat it as harf khitab la mahalla laha min arab. So iya ka, iya ki, iya kuma, iya kum, iya kunna. In all those cases, Kaf is harf khitab la mahalla laha min al irab And this is true for the rest of the pronouns as well. So, iyahu, iyaha, iyahuma, iyahum, iyahunna, or iyaya, iyana, the hu, ha, huma, hum, hunna, ya, na. According to famous grammarian Sibove, our haruf la mahalla laha min al irab The pronoun itself is iya, word iya is an independent pronoun, which is Nasbin status, according to the famous grammarian Sibove. The second case, when you find your kafal kitab as a harf is when it is found attached to ismul ishara. So in words, zalika, zalikuma, zalikum, zalikunna, tilka, tilkuma, tilkum, all these calves, the calves that you are seeing are called kafal kitab la muhalla laha min al because in all these cases, they are Harf. Okay. The third case when you will find calf as harf is when it attaches itself to ismu fail ala. We have learned ala as harf jar, which makes an ism majroor after it. When ala is ism, and it is ism in two cases, and one of the cases when it is ismu fail, alay, alayka, alaykum, can in these two cases. Ala is a smooth fail in the meaning of ilzam. In the meaning of ilzam, whenever you are going to find your kafal kitab attached to ala, which is an smooth fail in the meaning of ilzam, you are going to call that kafal kitab as harf la mahalla lahumin al arab. The fourth case, when you are going to treat kafal kitab as a harf, is when it attaches itself to taul kitab. What is Taul Khitab? Taul Khitab is Taul file that we have learned in Fail Madin. Nasarta, Nasartuma, Nasartum, Nasarti, Nasartuma, Nasartunna. The Taul file that is used for second person can also be called Taul Khitab. And when Kaful Khitab attaches itself to Taul Khitab, to Taul Khitab, you are going to call that Kaful Khitab Har Khitab. La mahalla lahum min al arab Okay? So these are four cases where you will find kaful khitab as harf la mahalla lahum min al arab So for the details, so the word iyaka na'abudu wa iyaka nasta'in, there are two ways how this word can be treated. Iyaka can be treated as a compound word where it is there is another way where you only call ya as the mir mabni fi mahalli nasbin mafulun bihi and the kaf is kaf harful khitab. Okay? And same is true for the rest. Ya kum, ya kum, or ya hu, ya ya, ya na. That holds true for the rest of the pronouns as well. But today's discussion is on kaful khitab so we will focus on kaful khitab okay so the next case when again you are going to find your 
kaf ul khitab as harf khitab is going to be when it is attached to ism ul ishara like in til kuma zalika zalikum kazaliki this ki zalikunna this ku who ka who zalikuma again this ka is going to be harf khitab and here from surah yusuf zalikunna when the word was broken down it was za was ismul ishara lam is for bud and kunna the kaf in kunna is harf khitab la mahalla laha min al ira the third case when your kaf ul khitab your ka which is attached pronoun is attached itself has attached itself to ismu fail ala when ala is not harf jar however it is an ismu fail in that case only you are going to treat kaf as harf khitab la mahalla lahu min al arab in this case only you can call kaf as harf khitab otherwise in rest of the quran when you see alaykum kaf is going to be jar okay but when ala is not harf jar when it acts like ismu fail in the meaning of ilzam in that case only you are going to treat kaf as harf khitab so keep that in mind when ala is ismu fail only then you are going to treat kaf ul khitab as harf and it's going to be as i have mentioned before la mahalla lahu min al arab the last case when again you will find your kaf ul khitab as harf la mahalla lahu min al arab any time you are going to see ta ul khitab followed by kaf ul khitab in this case the purpose of kaf ul khitab is only to bring emphasis it is there for emphasis so in words raaitakum raaitakum raaitaka all these cases from surah and um, verses from surah al an'am verse number 40 Surah Al-Anam, verse number forty-seven. Surah Al-Isra, verse number sixty-two. All these caps, these three caps, are going to be harf khitab la mahalla lahu min al-arab. Okay, and you're, you know, you are see, because you see your kaf al-khitab after taul khitab. So this is all about your kaf al-khitab, and the purpose of this session is to make you understand when. you will find your kaf ul khitab as harf la mahalla lahu min al arab you are never going to call this kum this kum or this ka maful bihi because maful bihi is an ism kaf here is a harf it is la mahalla lahu min al arab it is not functioning as maful bihi here it is not a detail it is just there for emphasis so if you look at the translation it will be very clear this kaf is very different from the kaf that you are seeing in word atakum okay or the word in the the kaf that you are seeing in word atatkum so here you are going to call the kafs as maful bihi but this one where the ta again is followed taul taul khitab is followed by kaf ul khitab you can never call it maful bihi it is only harf khitab that is there for emphasis So, if you find this session beneficial, like, subscribe, share, teach, and make sure that you keep your intentions pure for the sake of Allah. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik. Nashadu Allah ilaha illa anta nasta'firu kama natubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.